Hello, every <laughs> trying to keep him off camera. He's not a big fan of the camera. <laughs> so we're in a truck right now. What would you call this? A van, a truck, recovery truck? Truck, mate. A truck, it's a truck. So this is Chris from Global Motors. I'm pretty sure you've seen Chris before. My name's Chris and I'm the business owner. So I opened Global five years ago with the vision of just selling cool cars really, stuff that I drive myself. And then, yeah, here we are, team of seven, selling some fairly cool cars. <laughs> You've seen Global Motors all over my YouTube before, because every time I want it, so they specialise in perform performance cars, would you say that? We used to, do, we used to do, like solely do some performance cars, Yeah. but now we do like, we do like a lot of free fade tourings and stuff, but like, yeah. not just performance cars, stuff that like looks cool, like aesthetics as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like maybe just like a stock, Free fate do with 250 horsepower, but it's got a split kit and performance kit and that. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, we just do like just stuff that looks cool. Really. The thing is, like when I buy cars for the business, I like I really struggle to buy stuff that I don't like. You know? I like cheap shit boxes. Sometimes you don't I like try, selling I try, cheap. I try and pull you away yeah, from you... <laughs> cheap shit boxes. <laughs> it's a firm one. It's like 180,000 mile. I'm like, no, really. Yeah. So take a look at their website. Go and see what they've got in stock. And if they've actually got something that you want. Um, message them and they'll help you find because obviously they're a dealer and uh, if it comes to you, you want to help with the payments and stuff message them they can find one for you source one for you and then they can help you out with the payment that way as well so, oh my god we're only an hour and a half away that's gone quick no, no, we're no, having no, a bit no. of a laugh in here I'm not going to lie it's um, all for audio video I, I might insert one <laughs> I've got to put it in so we'll do some off we'll show some off roading videos <laughs> <laughs> we'll show some off roading videos. Oh, and he's got this like Defender, which are like 38 inch tyres. Anyway, built. He, built, like fully built. He goes yeah. down the side of this, what would you call it, a hill? A mountain? No, it was a drop, mate. It was a drop. It was a sheer drop. And he was. <laughs> a tree, door flung off, snapped off, Ray Ban's gone. Oh, he's gone. He's actually gone. <laughs> yes! Whoa, that's a door! <laughs> and then. <laughs> yeah, that's all right, mate. Come down. Went, come down. Come, come, and then he got. <laughs> we'll insert the video. Oh, he's going fast. <laughs> he's going real fast. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's real fast. Let's <laughs> 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 insert the video again. Let's insert the video again. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's real fast. <laughs> So yeah, we're only an hour and a half away now, so we'll go and have a look, on, look over the car for the first time. It's quite funny because we've agreed to buy it, but the guy's not even there. So he's, <laughs> he's, he's, hit, he's hit the key somewhere until we've paid for it. Until we've paid for it, and then he's going to tell us where the key is. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're here, guys. So we've just drove past it. We almost didn't make it up this hill in the trailer, which was quite funny. <laughs> look at this fucking. <laughs> I reckon still some tyre on the ground, isn't it? Hey, it's in here, isn't it? Here it is. Oh, we drove past it. was like, of course, it's nice. Here we go. We won't show you yet because we're going to do a reveal. After this, we're, gonna, we're driving down to driving down to Cornwall. We're going to do some fun shit tomorrow, aren't we? Oh, yeah. We're going to do some oh, fun shit. Home. And we're going to look at the issue with this and potentially map it as well if we can fix the he issue. Said there's a oh, mate, it's nothing. He, he, it's played, nothing. he played it out like there was loads. Really? Yeah, there's a little mark there. Mate, it's a nice car, man. I like this. Mate, yeah. There's a little mark there. Oh, oh mate, mate. That's what he's worried. That's what he's worried. Oh, seen, mate. Bro. Can see that, bro. Oh, he's, saying there's a, nice. he's saying there's a bit of curbing on this wheel. Yeah, I'm getting refurbed anyway. Well, I'm just gonna get different wheels because they're uh, um, he said there's a couple wheels. marks on the rear, but oh, just stuff like that. Though. Oh, he's, he's here. Oh, what are you saying, mate? I think it's actually quite cool. It is cool. I thought it was awful before. <laughs> did you? <laughs> yeah, I did, but I it's think... nice, right? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Sounds right. better than my car. Grand, though, Honestly, <laughs> sounds better than your SVR. Yeah, it sounds better than SVR. This stock, stock exhaust yeah. as well. The SVR is quiet, like real quiet. Yeah, like this that, is, you can easily hear it. This is nice. I really like this. And I think, you know, when you're on the rallies, yeah, yeah and you go down the autobahn, bah, bah. and like, no, not, not even With that. A couple of reses. Not even that. Right. I don't even think that. I think when you go down the autobahn, definitely though, get yeah. them off. I think when you go down the autobahn at 150, and it's just like, <laughs> and it's just smooth, yeah, and smooth. you'll be like, this is class. Mate, this is like the perfect car. It's actually a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, me too. What well, the way you explained with like the couple of marks on it, I thought they were going to be like some yeah, big dents or whatever. Yeah, mate, get them off, you? this hey, look is down the side. Look, mate, this is look, a, look down the side. It's mint. This is a nice car. Yeah, this is. I like this. I, I like this way more than I thought I was going to. That's cool. I think it's cool. 
We've and for the money, mate, you ain't no. gonna get a better car for the money. Nah, you just that's like a lot of car behavior. for the money. Mate, mate, this is like, this is like a 2017 Fiesta ST money. <laughs> is, is that good? I think he's just insulted me. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. What I'm saying is, like, you could buy, you could go and buy a Fiesta ST. Yeah. Oh. But then you've bought that for bought the same money. Yeah, for the same, same money. Yeah. For the same money. That's mate. what I'm trying to say. You know, you know what I mean? I like it, guys. I think it's cool. Yeah. We're not going to show you guys I'm not yet. Not sure about the chrome, but. You know. No, obviously it's gonna be decromed. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Yeah. That's all. I'm not sure about the wheels. No, they're no, gonna. They're they gonna. Nah, to no, go. they're gonna get they changed. Go. Get some big twenties on there or something. But mate, black it out. Black it out. Black, black all the chrome. Yeah. Get some nice wheels on there. Mate. A couple of reses out. I'm not. We're not showing you guys yet because we're going down to. Uh, we're actually going down to Global Motors and we're gonna get it in the yeah. unit. We're gonna see what's up with it. We think. It, it, well, we're, I've not told them yet, have I? So there's a problem with it. Every time you're on full, well, we're not. This is what we've been told. I'm not driven it yet. But every time you're on full boost. No, he, said, he didn't say every time though, did he? He didn't. He said. He said sometimes when you're on full throttle, it comes into a strict restricted performance. So it goes into limp mode, but it's only past five thousand RPM. Past five thousand, so you can drive it normally. But we we've googled it, and it's either a boost leak. Yes. Well, hopefully. It's charged. Hopefully. It could be anything. Could be you know, anything. Could but be we've, but we've been told it's either one of the fuel pumps, or some sort of boost leak. So we're going to get it on the scan when we get back to yeah, yours tomorrow. Do a smoke test. Do a smoke test, and then. Hopefully fix it and then map it and then straight pipe it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and get five miles per gallon tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, oh, you, you said he said he gets like twenty eight thirty on the motorway. That's the biggest bullshit ever. Nah, right? he, he said he gets twenty two average. That's all right. Nah, yeah, no but way. I can kind of see it. Yeah, it's, my SPL gets fourteen. It's, got, it's two wheel drive, isn't it? Yeah. My SPL gets fourteen. Right, we're gonna set we're gonna set the drive back now, guys, and we're gonna pick you up in the morning. Or unless no, I'm not gonna say that. We're gonna pick you up in the morning. And we're gonna see. Well, we're gonna show you the car. Do a little, do a little reveal at Global Keys Motors. Keith has sent my sunroof. Sunroof. It's a nice car. German bike. sun. Mm. Ger everyone's <laughs> gonna think it's think it's Mercedes now. It's not German. It's not German. No, when you're in, when you're in Germany. Oh, and we're in Germany. No, I don't mean. Mate, Switzerland. That's the next rally. You know this. Show the chrome. Get some better motors on it. It'll yeah. Be lovely. Yeah. It's gonna be a big D chrome because there's chrome oh, everywhere. Look at the, the, the bonnet vents. I like these bonnet vents. Oh, well, the bonnet vents. That's, it's annoying because that's the only thing you can really tell the difference between one of these and a diesel. It's a bit annoying, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what, 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 mate, when the res is out, you definitely know the difference. Oh, mate, this is a nice sounding engine. God, right, I'm excited. Right, should we get on the road? Morning, everybody. Sorry for the weird cut. We're actually on the way to Chris's now to film the reveal. I've obviously brought my hydro cleaning stuff. We actually picked up a little bit of dirt driving back last night. So I've obviously brought the house. So I'm going to give it a quick clean with my hydro things. Obviously, you've been seeing these everywhere. So if you actually want to give these a go yourself, you can use the code LEE20. It'll give you 20% off and free shipping over 30 quid. So go on the website, use code LEE20. Let's go and give it a quick clean with my hydro things. And then let's do the reveal. So yes, it is a Jaguar XFR. So this has the five liter supercharged V8 out of the SVR Range Rover. It's the same engine. So if this is 510 horsepower as standard, yes, it is rear wheel drive. And yes, it looks a little bit like a granddad spec car right now, mainly because it basically is. It's an XF, which is basically just a nice, comfortable cruiser with a huge 500 horsepower V8 under the bonnet. It's actually one of the coolest cars I've ever driven. I actually, if you remember, years ago, I did a review on an XFRS. That was Neil at Greenlight Show. He had an XFRS. Now, the difference between these and the XFRS is, is that it's the exact same engine. The XFRS has just basically got a map, so it's a bit faster. Uh, and it's got better styling and I think it might be wrong. I think it's got like better suspension, adaptive suspension. This doesn't have adaptive suspension. So the XFRS is just basically the sportier version of this, but it's the same engine and um, just with better styling. Now the XFRS was actually one of the best cars I have ever driven. Um, as an overall car, I even said this in the review, you can't, you, you almost can't get better than it. It does everything. It's comfortable, it's pretty, it's relaxing, it's fast, it's just nice. Um, now I didn't go for the XFRS because the XFRS is probably around 10 to 15,000 pound 
more than one of these. Now I couldn't justify that for the sake of a map and some different styling. Um, and also, I'm gonna be putting a lot of miles. This is going to be my new daily and also the car for True Rally as well. We're gonna be driving this around in True Rally. So I want something that isn't just gonna depreciate loads. Now, as you're aware, we said at the start of the video, there is an issue with this car. And the issue with this car is that sometimes when you're on full throttle, full whack, it goes into a performance restrictive mode. So it goes into kind of a limp mode. It still drives, but you just can't put your foot down. When you turn the key on, when you turn the key off and on again, it resets. Now, I did a two hour drive and it only did it once. It's not as bad as you think. But in the next video, we're going to be diving down into that and what the causes for that are. There's some common problems for that. But this is my new daily, the XFR 5 litre supercharged Jag. I absolutely love it. So we're going to take it for a nice little walk around of the car. These are the standard wheels. Uh, they're pr pretty cool because it says supercharged on the wheels, but the wheels themselves are not cool. They will not be staying. Now, it is white, I love these cars in white. White is by far the nicest color in this car other than the blue which only come in the XFR RSs. So I wanted a white one, this is a white one. We got this for... S right, so we just pulled it out of the way because Chris is doing a collection with another customer. So here is the Jag XF. We got this for an unbelievable deal because of the issues that the car has. We're pretty sure we know what it is, but we need to go through a diagnosis process just to double make sure. So this is the facelift. This is a 2012 version of the facelift. Um, there are so many pre-facelifts for sale, but I really don't like the, the I really don't like the front lights on a pre-facelift. So I've wanted a facelift. So we've got a facelift. I won't tell you exactly what we got this for, but it's a good deal. I'll know for sure if it's if it's a really good deal when we fix the issue. But we'll go over the issue and we'll take this for a drive in the next video. Today I'm just going to show you what car we got. So here is a walk around the XFR. Absolutely beautiful car. Um, I've driven this two hours home last night. And this makes my A7 feel like a tin can. It really does. It is so nice in here. So luxurious. Didn't look it on camera. The, the one thing is on camera and pictures the interior looks really bad. But when you sit in it, it's gorgeous. It's like... Honestly, it is like super nice. Everything is like super posh. It's just, don't know why that's not working. Oh, there we go. So you press this and then the fans open up and everything's just, everything's just very jag. It's very jag, you know? We've got the upgraded speakers. We've got the, the good Bowers and Wilkins speakers. We have got a sunroof, which I've not tested. There we go, the sunroof works. Go on the boy. And I love the interior, you have the black leather all here, but then you have the black suede all at the side and on the roof. And it's just, a, it's honestly a super nice place to be. But the build quality of this car and how good it feels is absolutely insane. And again, it makes my A7 literally feel like a tin can. It is just so comfortable, so relaxing. I've not checked the boot space, but we need a lot of boot space for the rally, you see. Boot space is... It's big, not as big as the A7, but it's definitely good. Um, it's just such a nice example of a car. Um, Chris and uh, one of their mechanics, Alex, looked over it and they said, mate, this is a really, really, really good deal. It's super straight. The paint's really nice. The size, there's no dents all over it whatsoever. There's a few scrapes on the low bumper here. As you can see, there's a bit of a scrape there on the low bumper. And I think there's a scrape here on the rear bumper somewhere. Yeah, it's a little bit of a, of a little bit of a knock there. Um, but it's a super nice, super clean car, and I absolutely love it. It drives amazing, even with the issue with it cutting out up top. Again, it only does it like 10% of the times, but it is there, and we are going to fix it. But here is my new Jag XF R. So this is a total stock exhaust, total stock car. That's the exhaust. We'll give it a little bit of a rev for you. It has got a little bit of a soft limiter. Hopefully it comes off when we map it. But this is a standard, standard exhaust. And here is that huge five liter V8 supercharger which comes in the SVR engines. As you see, supercharged there. The annoying thing is, when we picked this up, this crack wasn't here. And then we opened the bonnet today and was like, oh, there's a crack here. But <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful car. So again, huge thank you to Global Motors. Every time I want a nice daily or something that's a bit more expensive, 
Uh, I always come to Global Motors, they'll help me source it, they help me pick it, they look over the car with me and they, they make sure I'm getting a good deal because they're better at looking at cars like this than I am because I'm used to just looking at <laughs> old shit boxes. Have a look at Gold Motors websites, go give them a follow on Instagram, we're going to have an unbelievable fun day, they've got a boat, we're going to go out in the sea today, we're going to have such a good day with them there, it's so funny, Chris is just like the funniest guy ever. Uh, and he sells some unbelievable cars. So go and have a look at their website and have a look at some of their stock. And also, if you've got a car that, they, that you want, especially if it's a specialist vehicle, performance or modified vehicle, this is what they do. So give them a message. See if they can actually find it for you. Good thing about this is they can find a car for you and they can help you finance it as well if that's something you're looking into. So huge thank you, Global. I don't usually like doing first drive videos, but I feel like this is definitely a car that I, I want to take you on a first drive with because it's just so unique. There's a lot to say about this car a lot to feel with this car a lot to hear with this car um so look out for the next, next video i'm gonna do a first drive video i don't need really to do one of those but this is definitely a car i want to do that with so stay tuned for the videos on this car i love you all and we'll see you in the next one right sorry about that weird cut and i'm now looking like a lobster i've had a bit of a fun day uh come on mate it was salt it looks like we've got some kind of weird skin disease it's all over with Anyway, we've had a fun day. You'll see the video. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do the famous thing, and we've got to, we're gonna sign the global wall. There is that. Uh, I'm, I, this this is weird because every time it's quite funny for camera actually. Every time, obviously, I have like a YouTube signature and an illegal signature. Not because I, I feel like anyone's gonna rob me. I just because my legal signature is nothing like my YouTube name. My YouTube name is my name. Um, I'm going down a rabbit hole there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, the amount of times I've like done my legal name on people, I'm like, wait, that looks nothing like. Yeah. So I'm going to do my YouTube one. Do it, I think here. Here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I'm not good at this because I don't sign things very often. Do it so. big. Yeah. Lee Lockwood? He's a celebrity, look. Does that kind of look like Lee Lockwood? I reckon. I reckon. And then just put the date there. What's that? What is the date? Uh, James the date. 2nd of June? 3rd of June, that's Boom. It's a beauty. Beauty. It's a beauty. We'll kiss on them, shall we? Boom. The, well, terrible kiss. Oh, oh, right, just, just forget about it. Boom. <laughs>